Generally, when we have our gatherings and you walk in, sometimes you have to drive two or three days to one of the, our places. There's generally a group, and the first word you hear is, welcome home. So that's what I'm going to say to our next reader, Trevor Healy, welcome home. Trevor has been away from Los Angeles down in Argentina for the last six months. Um, and uh, he's a wonderful writer and poet, and we're very happy to have his contribution in this book. He's writing about one of our sanctuaries up in Wolf Creek, Oregon. Um, but let's see, Trevor Healy is the author of the Pharaoh Grumbly and Violet Aquil award-winning novel. Through it came bright colors, as well as a collection of poems, one of my favorites, Sweet Son of Pan and it uh, has just been reissued. And a sh short story collection, Perfect Scar and Other Stories. So I guess Trevor is back in Los Angeles for a while, and I hope he stays here. Please welcome Trevor. Here. Thank, you. Uh, thank you for explaining uh, this poem. This was. Um, my first fairy gathering. So it was 1990, I believe, and you know, I had I had already come out and done all that, and I was sort of in that period of okay, so what's next? And you know, a lot of people would describe uh, a fairy gathering as a second coming out, and it was very very much that for me. Um, let me find myself here, okay. And I'm glad Walt Whitman has been mentioned so much because he's a part of this as well. <coughs> And also, Mark, your book. I had read Gay Spirit, Mark Thompson's book, before I ever met him. And that book actually helped get me to go to this gathering. It's called Fairy Gathering. Wolf Creek is one big 80-acre faggot I've got a crush on. <laughs> These 10 days have been like one long, slow, delicious fuck. Looking into that lovely fairy face, I can feel the smooth friction of the muddy land entering me. I see the shadows of his fairy wings flitting across the moonlight. My body has become a pattern of magic tokens, offerings to this great faggot spirit. My asshole opens like a rising sun to receive his hot Oregon day. Each morning I open my lips to kiss his fairy sky mouth, and out rolls a purple moon disc from his smile. Oh, my Whitman cock sings like a cricket in his sweat-drenched night and paints a Jackson Pollock out of blackberries and limestone. All the day long, I lick his dry grass chest and hold his tree branch limbs. I watch him piss the clear coolness of the spring. I run through his red earth like tears and blood and cum and mud and honey. I like the bees that swarm around him. They're the fairies coming for to carry me home. My chest is an altar I've erected to my wolf boy, and my heart dances under his moon gaze. My arms move like my tongue through his breath. I whistle the pipes of pan, rolling like an echo through the woods. I contort my body into a kiss inside his meadow mouth. All these forested hills are his goatee. I squirm around in his warm muddiness. I sing to him with my blood. My orifices echo with his laughter. They are the pores of his skin. I bathe in his eyes like cool water holes in the 100 degree heat. I can barely contain the love of this iron cock ring of trusting faggots, fairy circle molten. Wolf boy heart, an opening timeless meadow, 80 acres of sanctuary for fey ones, our collective body where we can sit and cry and fuck and share and gather his magic seeds. There are too many to count. Falling from my open cupped hands, I feel like a big messy fruit, and I am. <laughs> Spilling my seeds and sweetness, Wolf Creek is forever a great ripe mango of joy in my heart. Thank you.